now from Coors Field at the foot of the Rocky Mountains in Denver, Colorado. MLB The Show has interleague action for you this afternoon. It's the Seattle Mariners going up against the Colorado Rockies. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. Just about to get started, and our pitcher in this game, Peter Lambert. What's the word on him? Anytime you have five pitches to work with on the mound, that repertoire can be a real weapon in terms of keeping hitters off balance, man. It's, it's one of those things that I'm going to be looking for in this one. Does he have a feel for all of those pitches, or is he just able to get one or two over in the strike zone where he wants? Now, it's tough to do to be able to command all those pitches, but if he can, he is going to be very tough for the opponent today. Julio Rodriguez in the box now. No balls and a strike. Line drive. And now we check out the Mariners lineup. And Chris, this group has been struggling to put up runs lately. Well, they haven't been on base a ton, and even when they are, they haven't been hitting very well with runners on base. So they need a guy or two to really step up, have some quality at bats, hit according to the situation, and sort of break out of this. I think if they do, the rest of this lineup will follow. Now batting Mitch Hanniger. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Counts one and oh. One out, base is empty. Got a good eye there. This ball's chopped on the ground. He dives, but can't hang on. That's a base hit. He decides to eat it, and he reaches safely. The second base hit, Jorge. Man at first with one gone. The batter now, Jorge Polanco. Here's a guy who's been struggling so far this year. It's only late April, but still hoping he'll turn it around soon. Man at first, one away. And that one in the air, center field. Pulls it down, and there's two gone. That is cool. The designated hitter, Mitch Garver. Mitch Garver up to hit here. This is another guy capable of hitting tape measure home runs. In for a strike. It's 0-1. Bounce to third. McMahon oh. fires over to first. And that is the inning. So one hit is all they get. On to the bottom of the first. No score after a half inning. Back here with my pal Singy. Pitching in our game today, Bryce Miller. Well, he's not a rookie, but still very young in this game, learning his craft. I think the key is getting consistent reps and the opportunity to develop his stuff. Looking forward to watching him pitch in this one. Now it's the shortstop, Ezekiel Tovar. Not shortstop. And a pitch. Just off the inside edge. Close what there. Time? Two and one. Oh. 
Wouldn't oh, chase that time. And yeah, the righty deals. And that's, that's ball four. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Go. Hitter didn't oh, offer at it. Now he has Look somebody better. to worry about over at first. Here's a speed threat. Britton Doyle. Good power. Not great in the OBP department. In the air, right side of the infield. Hauls it in for the out. That is good. The third baseman. Time to check out the Rockies lineup. This is an offense, Chris, that's having a hard time scoring runs right now. Yeah, sometimes things just aren't going to click, and unfortunately what happens is players press, they try to do a little bit more, and they get out of their game. You've got to let the game come to you. If you chase it, it's going to run from you. So this is a team that just needs to calm down, relax, and understand that they're going to come out of this. Ryan hey. McMahon stands in now and watches strike one. pitch breaking inside, ball inside one. and now it's even one and one ball. just missed two balls one play. center field that ball's carrying feeling for the wall as he makes the catch that's just a really nice catch on the run right there he saved extra bases for sure the pitcher's his friend he'll give him a second to catch his breath before he's ready to deal the next pitch and now it's Elias Diaz Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. A massive home run. His second of the year, and just like that, they're out front. It's 2-0. That's a fun way to take the lead. Just hit one out of the park. Good hitter gets pitch recognition early. He saw exactly where that was going to be. The challenge, not get over anxious and come out of your swing. He stayed on it and got all of it. And now here is Lowry's Montero. Out towards right center. That's well struck. And it hits the fence. Around first and hustling for second. And he starts his afternoon off right with a double. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of the struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game. But all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. Man at second here with two away. Here's the left fielder, Sean Bouchard. And the first oh, offering no is not close. Montero stands at second with two gone. Next pitch in for a strike. And the count one and one. Right through there for a strike. And it's second. And the slider just misses. He's given up a couple of runs, but the pitch count really not as high as you would think. Might be able to get through this one under 25 pitches. And misses inside. Michael Tolia waits on deck. Runner at second, two down. And that's too high, ball four. Two walks in the first has to be some cause for concern. Right, 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 You're right. talking about a guy you well, want right to pitch there, deep yeah. into the ball game. It's not going to help with the pitch count right there. They can't afford to hand out three bases at this rate. Here's Michael Tolia. 
And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. And the 0-1. That one ripped. That's back there. That's down. One hops off the wall. One run is in. Another comes in to score, but it's 4 nothing. Picks himself up a couple of ribbies. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. Alan Trejo digging in for the Rockies. Just off the outside edge. And that is ball one. Right through there for a strike. Well, they've been able to score four runs off of him in this inning, and this is where you want to just max out, get as much as you can, give him one of those tough innings where it's going to be hard for him to recover in the next one. First inning, and already up to 23 pitches. Into center. Touches down. That's a hit. Runner from second crosses the play. It's 5 nothing. Comes through with the RBI. Just a very nice approach and swing right there to use the big part of the field. Everything was on time. He stayed balanced through the entire swing and just launched that one into center. So two down. Now the Rockies catcher, Jacob Stallings. That hey. one's in there. 0 and 1. 0 and 1. And the pitch. And there's a foul ball. Ball. And ball That's one. Inside. Clearly, he hasn't had it in this game, and looks like sooner than later, they're going to have to go to the bullpen. Hey. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. That'll end the inning after a lot of scoring. But nine batters hit in the inning. Five come around to score. Second inning coming up here in Denver. It's the Rockies five and the Mariners nothing. Back here at Coors Field. And here's the first, the first baseman, baseman, Ty France. Ty France. Lambert back to work. That ball, just that misses, and that's ball one. I'm sure he likes the 5-0 lead and the run support, but he's sat around a lot since warming up in the pen, and you'd hate to see a guy not have his rhythm to go out there and have a great start. And that one fouled off. That to right. Totally a trying to get there. And there's one away. That is it. The catcher. The catcher. Cal. And now the Mariners catcher. Whoa. Cal Raleigh. You know, Raleigh made history in 2023. He had a game with two home runs and six RBIs, oh, becoming the it. first catcher in Mariners history to do that. One down, base is empty. That one pushed foul out of play off to the left. Speaking of dingers, he's the second fastest to 50 home runs in Seattle history. Only A-Rod needed fewer games. Out to short, Tovar. Sends it to first. Gets the catcher by a step. I believe we talked about how the ball is coming out of the pitcher's hand. The way it comes out of his hand as an infielder. Wow, really impressive. Here's Dylan Moore. Ball, that's up there. The Rockies leading by five here at the top of the second. And a breaking ball drops in for a strike. 
dangerous spot for that slider right there. Didn't seem to quite finish out front and get that sharp break. Tell you what, he doesn't want to throw ball that inside. pitch again. And another ball. That ball one drifts inside. inside. And a foul ball. Flares it into the outfield. And it falls. And that extends the inning. Here's Luis Arias. And that's in for a strike. One and one. And a pitch out, but nothing going on. Moore off the of first with two away. And now the count one and two after the swing and the one miss. Ball. Wow, good luck catching up to that one. One and two now. That That's one missed. Two balls, two strikes. Pickoff move to first. Moore dives back in safely. The pitch. And they'll do it again. That ends the frame. One left for Seattle. Still looking at that 5 nothing deficit. We head to the bottom of the second. Here's the Rockies' leadoff hitter, Ezekiel Tovar. A line to kick the pitch. Just missed. Close nope. one doesn't get the call. Two balls, no strikes. Gary Simmons has the plate duty in this one. Well, with Simmons, it's not always your standard strike zone, Boog. It kind of gives a little extra in some parts of the zone and then can be tighter in others. But I think the important thing is he doesn't get labeled as inconsistent. So you got to stay ready up there. Swing and a foul. Pushed off to the right. Yeah, one of those umpires, you just have to know what to expect, right? Exactly. Upstairs. Really? Hit hard on the ground is short. And quickly oh. one away in the second. Now bad. The center field. Brenton. Next to hit for the Rockies, Brenton Doyle. Doyle. First time up was a pop out. Down the line. Hanniger sprinting for this one. Tries to make the play, but it's foul. Next pitch is downstairs. Fought off foul. The one two. Bows it back with two strikes. Twings and misses. It's a strikeout. Had him way out front of the slur. He had him out in front, which isn't easy to do against a hitter like this, known for using the entire field. Just couldn't sit back long enough on that one. Yeah, 
And first offering is fouled off. Two outs, bases empty. And that's off the inside edge. And that's ball one. Whoa, Just missed. Two down, nobody on. And that's in there at the knees. And that one almost got him. Straightened him up a little bit. And down on strikes he goes. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. Rockies are down quietly as they are unable to add to their 5 nothing lead. Back here in Denver, leading off, leading off Jonathan Classe. Number 22. Classe hitting ninth in today's lineup. And he was born in the Dominican Republic. That hey. one finds the zone, and it's 0 1. Line drive, and that's a base hit out into center field. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Now that. You often hear the phrase short to it, long through it, and that's a great example of it right there. Got the barrel in the hitting zone early, squared it up with the well-timed swing, and came away with a beautiful line drive into center field. And now it's Julio Rodriguez. That one sizzling on its way through to the outfield. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Really good swing yeah, right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle. Allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer. And he hit the ball on the screws. Could be a chance here for them to start clawing back into this ballgame. Next to hit, Mitch Hanniger. That one hammered but pulled foul. Classe, the lead runner at second, Rodriguez, on at first with nobody out. That one well upstairs, and the count is one and one. On the ground, right side, has some trouble with it. Flip to the pitcher is in time, and that leaves them with runners at second and third. Now that this is what it's all about on that right side of the diamond when you've got the first baseman involved in the pitcher as well. First baseman does a great job, knocks the ball down, gets away from a little bit, doesn't panic. The pitcher's exactly where he's supposed to be. Nice feed and a nice play for the out. And now for Seattle, Jorge Polanco. 0 for 1 with a fly out to center. Chicks went to the first pitch, looked down to third, and James Kingsley says he won around. And the right hater deals. Oh, and a good eye there. Second and third, one away. We're here in the top half of inning number three. And oh, another ball. It's a big opportunity right here, but I love the way he's slowing the game down. He's shrinking his zone, making sure he gets the pitch that he wants to hit. The punch out there. Now two out. Thought it was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike now, zone. We're seeing yeah, more fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. Garver in the box with two gone. And takes a look at a called strike. Smash to the left side. Tosses across the first. Third out. Mariners leave a couple. It's 5 nothing. And welcome back to the ballpark. Now it's the DH. Elias Diaz. Oh, Diaz. Diaz. 
And the right hander back to work. Just nope, missed. Good. All these Rockies doing a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way. And I'm seeing very patient at bats out of them. Not only have they already put up a bunch of runs on the board, but they've also made the starter work really hard out there. Rips that one center field. Rodriguez calls it in, and there's one away. Like I said, his pitch count is high, so I gotta expect they'll be turning to their bullpen sooner than they are. And Lowry is Montero, the next to hit. One for one with a double and a run score. Inside corner at the knees, that's a strike. Good fastball. Now this is in the air down the line. And it gets into the corner, but it's foul. The wind of the pitch. He's got it, and there's two away. It's never fun going back to the dugout after hitting a line drive that finds a glove, but you now will get some high fives. You know, when you make great contact, you feel like you've done everything right. But in this game of baseball, not everything is in your control. Lifted to left center, way back there, and that is gone. That was blasted to the moon. His first homer of the year, it's 6-0. That was blasted. Absolutely, no doubt off the bat. Well, he went up there, oh, oh, looking to do damage. I think he had a sight set on that pitch. He went and got it and circled the bases. And here comes Scott Service as he's ready to make a change on the mound. Bryce Miller will depart, and this is one he'd like to forget. Back with a new arm after this. George Kirby into the game. And one thing on him, he's been really good this season at keeping the ball in the park. Not an easy guy to take deep. Two outs, nobody on. Michael Tolia will hit next. And the oh, first pitch the misses for ball one. Right through there for a strike. One run across in the frame so far here in the last half of the third. pitch this one popped up foul ground first base side France makes the play and it's out number three the Rockies tack on another with this one it's now a six nothing ball game back after this on the show Back here at Coors Field, John Chomby with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth, Ty France. The right-hander back to work. And first offering is fouled off. Well, these Mariners just lacking discipline at the plate in this ballgame. They're chasing a lot of pitches outside the zone, and those chases are turning hey. into a bunch of outs. Can they turn that around and stay within the zone? We'll see, but I think they have to. Swing and a high fly ball down the right field line. Nobody can get there, and it's a foul ball.
On the ground to short. Tovar. Zips it Got to him. first. One up, one down. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work now behind him with another ground Cal. ball. Good execution. Cal. Cal Raleigh up next for the Mariners. He's over one. Foul ball. The M's with a lot of ground to make up. Top half of inning number four. Worm burner into the outfield for a knock. Now that shortstop, Dylan. And now the shortstop, Moore. Dylan Moore. Just oh, wow. missed. Raleigh over at first with one away. That Whoa, misses. And yeah, that's ball two. To short could be two. Tobar to second. Over to first, but he beats it. The third And stepping in for the Mariners, Luis Urias went down on strikes his first time through. And that's off the inside edge. And it's one to know. And another ball. Two balls, no strikes. Two outs. Pop foul out of play off to the right. Kicks and deals. Outside. Outside. Well, they've had a hard time scoring in this one. The pitcher out there on the mound wants to keep attacking, make sure that they don't get any confidence. Righty delivers. Line drive, makes the grab, and that'll end the inning. Mariners lead one. Still up against a six-nothing deficit. Bottom of the fourth, now it's the second baseman, Alan Trejo. As he turns on the rubber, here with that good live arm delivers. On the corner for a strike, going one. Side corner, there's a strike. Right handed reliever Three. goes down looking. Well, oh, definitely a borderline pitch right there, and he didn't look too convinced as he headed back to the dugout. You know, those are Take tough ones that let go as a hitter, but go with the human there. umpire calling balls and strikes, it's always going to be on you to protect yourself with two strikes. Stones ah. batting with one down, takes a strike. And a strike on the outside edge. He doesn't seem to like to pitch up. Hasn't offered on either one of those pitches. 0-2 count now. I think the guy's going to climb the ladder out there. Three. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Two out. That's about as nasty of a splitter as you'll come across, especially in terms of movement. I mean, that thing tumbles out of his hand and just drops off the table at the last moment. If he keeps it down, it's just so tough to put wood on. Tobar, oh. the next to hit, takes outside. One the only adjustment he needs to make is his target. If you aim at the outside corner, that slider's going to end up way off the plate. Perhaps look a little more down the middle, and you get it right where you want it. That's in there. And the one count and one. one and one. Mm -hmm. 
And he hits a ground ball right side. And that chance handled. Tosses the first. It's a 1-2-3 inning for the Rockies. Nothing doing here this half. On to the top of the fifth we go. It's the Rockies six and the Mariners nothing. And we're back. Digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, Jonathan Classe. Jonathan Classe. Lambert back to work. That one close, ruled the ball. Ball one. Well, these Mariners, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. They're chasing a lot of pitches outside the zone, and those chases that are turning into a bunch of outs, can they turn that around and stay within the zone? We'll see, but I think they have to. That one at 95 missed up top and a count to an all. Popped up foul territory behind the plate. Stolens makes the catch and there's one gone. Good hard fastball up in the, the zone right there. They look really good coming in, but Julio so hard to get on top Rodriguez. of as a hitter. Julio Rodriguez digs in now. One for two. That's in for a strike at 95. It's 0-1. The Mariners knew what they had. Sign him in July of 2017 for a little under $2 million when Rodriguez was just 16 years old out of the Dominican Republic. One down, base is empty. Just a slow ground ball this that's time. And that's just foul. Fast forward to 2022 for Julio Rodriguez to win the Rookie of the Year. The Seattle Mariners were then compensated with the 29th overall ball, pick in the first yeah. round of the draft in 2023. Part of the new CBA enticing teams to promote their good young players. Good eye right there. Still two and two after the foul ball. Eighth pitch of the at back coming up. That three misses. Two. Three and two now. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Fly ball down the line. And that will drop foul. Got him looking, and he didn't like the call. Frustrating end to the at bat for the hitter, and I'm sure that's going to sit on him for a little while. You want to be ready to hit the fastball. Sometimes you can overthink things, and I think that was the case right there. And up next for Seattle, Mitch Hanniger. Hey. Clips the corner. The Mariners with a lot of ground to make up. And we're at the top of the fifth. That's down and in. That one a little bit high, and it's two and one. I can't play around with him here. It's a six-run lead at this point. Got to attack hitters, even if you give up a solo shot. That one misses. Now three and one. He hasn't fallen behind in the count like this all day. He's in danger of walking his first batter right here. Rip to third. McMahon oh. fires over to first. And the Mariners set down one, two, three. Nobody left for Seattle. They still find themselves down. Six zip. Back here in Denver, we head to the bottom of the fifth. Here's the center fielder, Brenton Doyle. Here comes a pitch. Fastball for a strike. 0-1. Some activity in the Mariners' bullpen. Emerson Hancock. Up and throwing. And a pitch. There's a swing and a miss. Well, you got the hitter already chasing that nasty slider. If you're on the mound, you just want to expand the zone right now. Get a swing and miss and get through this at bat. 
struck him out looking. Well, oh, just excellent location on that inside fastball. He really locked him up. And as a hitter, it's not typically what you're looking for. You're trying to protect away and then in. So you can be a little bit tardy with two strikes. Hard to tell if he was fooled or if he thought it would be called a ball. But either way, that's a really nice pitch. McMahon nope. at the plate and takes high there. Base is empty one away. Last half of inning number five. Right ah. down the chute. That's one strike ball, one. Strike. Goodness, I think he just took the best pitch he's going to see in this at bat. You don't get many like that in that location. I don't know if you take that pitch against any pitcher out there on the mound. That one, one almost got him. Here's a 2 1. And there's a fly ball deep right field. That's down. One hops off the wall. McMahon into second, and he's got a double. Showed some really nice patience in that at bat. Worked himself into a good count. A solid swing from start to end. On time with everything. Really good balance. Nice extension. And he met it out front for the line drive now. One out, runner at second. Elias Diaz digging in for the Rockies. That smash towards center. Rodriguez hauls it in, and there's two away. Now batting, first, first baseman, base in Lowry. Lowry. Montero. And Lowry's Montero digging in for the Rockies. First pitch misses. Just missed. Two outs and one in scoring position. Next one misses and now three and oh. I got three and oh. And there's the automatic. And a pitch. In the air, out towards left center. And that's the inning. The Rockies strand one. They lead it, though, 6 zip. And welcome back to the ballpark. And now it's the, the switch inning base. second baseman, Jorge, Jorge Polanco. Polanco. The wind of the pitch. Polanco, ah. in his eighth season, 30 years old now, he joined the team as a free agent. Line drive, base hit right field. And the leadoff man aboard. Now that, that, nice line drive to the pull side, met it out front, but just Garner. stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. And next is the designated hitter, Mitch Garver. Hey. A swing and a miss, and that's strike one. Oh, one's the count. Riding to the plate, and it's quickly nothing in two on the designated hitter. The Rockies have some action in the pen. Ryan Feltner getting ready to come on for Bud Black. Kicks and fires. Small on, belted. That one's back. Pulls it in on the warning track. And now for Seattle, Ty France. He swings and fouls one off. Swings 
and misses, struck him out. Well, that slider down and away, it's just kind of a slow death. With two strikes, you're looking to protect, and halfway to the plate, you know you committed, and you know you're going to have no chance of touching it. Tell you what, sometimes you just have to tip your cap. Rowley in the box again, takes a strike. Well, this looks like it's going to be a wasted opportunity. It's frustrating when you get the leadoff man on, but you can't get him into scoring position. They're going to need a big knock. Try to put something up on the board. Eight, Swing two. and a miss, and it's 0-2. It really oh, looks like these count. hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. The pitch. That one, one in the dirt, two and the count one and two. Two outs. Pitch oh, misses high. there, and the count is two and two. Three. And a swing and a miss, and that's the third out. So another good inning for him on the mound. Six shutout innings now. It's the Rocky six and the Mariners nothing. Bottom of the sixth Leo. inning. Now the left fielder, Sean Bouchard. The, left fielder. Bouchard. the pitch. Late with the swing there. It might be time to choke up a little bit, get that front foot down early, maybe even just spread out. He's really late right now. That misses, and the count even one and one. Right-hander kicks deals. On the ground to third. Urias the first in time. Lead-off man retired in the sixth. Now bad. The right field. Michael. Now it's going to be Michael Tolia. Drove in two runs on a double back in the first. He's one for two. Ball oh, one there. Here's a 1-1. One, one. That one fouled off. Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. He muscles that one out the opposite way, and they add on. It's 7 0. That's their third home run of the game. They're having a lot of fun at the plate in this one. They've got the long ball working for them on autopilot. Always scary for a pitcher when a guy can take a fastball down the middle and hit it to the opposite field. No holes in a swing like that. And that time, that ball was hit hard. So one out, nobody on. Now at the plate, Alan Trejo. And a foul ball. Oh, one down. Just oh, off down. the outside edge. Yeah. Swing and a pop-up. Foul territory for the catcher. Raleigh makes the grab, and there's two gone. The bat. The, bat. the catcher. catcher. Jacob. Jacob. Stalling. Jacob Stallings now. First offering misses badly for ball one. Two down, base is empty, but one run across here in the bottom of the sixth. Next offering is in for a strike. Late on that fastball. Just not able to catch up to that velocity. 
on the ground right side Polanco tosses the first they get the out on Stallings out with room to spare and that's the inning the Rockies get one by way of the long ball it's now seven nothing you're dialed into the show Back here at Coors Field, we go to the top of the seventh. Here's the shortstop at the play. Dylan Moore. Lambert back to work. And it's fouled away. Next offering is in for a strike. Hot shot to third. McMahon Got fires it. over to first. And they get the leadoff hitter in the seventh. The third base is number 16. Luis Urias. Luis Urias up next for the Mariners. Seems like the hitters are struggling with their timing today. Kind of caught in between that sharp fastball and the nasty slider. I'd like to see him settle on a consistent pitch. First nope, offering and it just misses. Base is empty one away here in the top half of inning number seven. A little bit high maybe, and it's 2-0. Oh. And a pitch. Swing and a foul. Pushed off to the right, and that will get out of play. One down, base is empty. And that gets the inside corner for a strike. Man, this guy's got a great feel for his breaking ball today. And he deals. Spoils that one, and it remains two and two. Good eye in that spot. offering popped in the air right field and makes the grab two down the bat the, bat. the left field. Field. and Jonathan stepping in for the Mariners Clase. Jonathan Classe just one out away from seven strong innings and just at a hundred pitches man pretty impressive they've got to be happy with what they've gotten from them out there today they say you win. One and one. Hard ground ball, base now. So Julio Rodriguez now gets a chance with two gone. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Yeah, Couldn't yeah. get any air under it, but he smoked that ball no. back up the middle. Timing no, no, no. was just perfect. Got great wood on it, and there's just no chance for the infielders with how hard he hit it. Here comes the skipper, and we're going to see a pitching change in this spot. Peter Lambert is done, and he was very good. They'll be happy with that, no doubt. We'll be back with a new pitcher in a minute. New pitcher in the game for the Rockies, Ryan Feltner. Compared to some days, this is a pretty low leverage appearance for him, so he should be fairly free and easy out there. Still have to keep yourself sharp and attack the strike zone. Back to the top of the Seattle order, and now the center fielder, Julio Rodriguez. One for three. And first offering is fouled off. Classe off of first with two away. Oh, he doesn't get the call. One and one. The one one is fouled off. Two outs. That one misses. Two and two. Hard 
hard hit right side. He takes yeah. it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. One left for Seattle. They continue to trail 7-0. We're back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. Emerson Hancock. Well, they need someone to stop the bleed and keep the score right where it is. Seems like a tough task today with the way this lineup is swinging it. So the batting Way order turns Rock. over. Rock. So in now for Colorado, Ezekiel Tovar. Ezekiel. And the pitch. Way oh, high. Unfair. Action in the bullpen for Seattle. Ryan Stanek appears to be getting ready for manager Scott Service. That's a bullet, but it goes foul. Wind in the pitch. Slice to right, and it goes just foul. And here it comes. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. And that's the first out. Oh, nothing too fancy on the strikeout pitch right there. Just a low 90s fastball, and I'm not sure he was trying to challenge him, but that's pretty much what happened. Very hittable location, but he found a way to just get it by him. Doyle ball. in the box with one away as he ball takes one, ball no one. Strike. The Rockies up big in this one. Here at the bottom of the seventh. Hey. Now one and one. On the ground to first, France. And he handles oh. it himself for the out. The best. The third, the third baseman. baseman. Ryan. Ryan. Ryan McMahon Man. steps to the plate. And when you talk about elite defensive third baseman, this guy is at the top of the list. Stop. Ah. When you look at players like this, you play that hot corner. Got to be pretty courageous over there with the way balls come off the bat. That's the kind of guy that every year you expect nope. to be in the all-star game and have a gold glove, if not a platinum glove. Ball to strike. The pitch. Clobber to right field, way back, gone. A gigantic blast. Third home run of the season, and they add a run. It's 8 0. That's their fourth home run of the game. They can't stop, and they won't stop hitting home runs in this one, Boo. They're clearly feeding off of each other at the dish. Anytime you have a pitch down the middle of the plate, the percentages go up for the hitter to do damage, even if it's a pretty good sinker like that one. Nice piece of hitting there at the plate. Stepping in, Elias Diaz. That's a little bit low. So what are the skills you look for that make a really good defensive third baseman that elite? Well, Boog, one of the things I think about immediately are just the feet. Does he have good feet? Is he able to quickly react? And oh. when you have good feet, you've got soft hands. No, no. And soft hand defenders are able to make tough plays look easy. And oh, another ball. That just no, missed. He walked him on four pitches. One of the things about that two-out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very that's aggressive that's secondary that's lead. That's so ball down ball. the line, into the, the, the gap, will produce a two-out RBI, and those are the best. That is, if you are the offensive side of it. Montero in that's now. Right. Takes ball one off the plate. Ball in for a strike and a count one and one. Cracks his bat and pops him up. Polanco brings it in for the third out. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. It's now an 8 0 game. It's Major League Baseball on the show. And we're back. We go to the eighth. Now the number two hitter, Mitch Hanniger. Hanniger. 
the pitch. Hammers that one deep left field and forget it. That'll fire up the dugout. His fourth home run of the season. And they're on the board. It's 8-1. Wasn't fooled on the first pitch at all. He squared it up right away. Polanco getting ready to hit. That one finds the zone. That's strike one. Part of the order coming through now, and with one home run already in this inning, they're definitely looking to do some more damage. Nobody on, nobody out, and we're in the top of the eighth. Pitch one misses, and one. and one and one. Wouldn't That's chase that two. time. Two balls, one strike. That's hard hit in the line. Could be extra bases. Around first, heading for two. In safely. It's a double and his second hit. Oh, I'm sure he feels really good about that one. The pitch was in and off the plate. It's so hard to do anything with the pitch in that location, but somehow he got the barrel to it and hit it well. Pretty amazing. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Mitch Garver. This is off the inside. Ball one. Runner at second, nobody out. Check hey. swing. Did he go? Yes, he did. I got a ball, one strike. Man at second. Ball, that's outside. When the skipper calls down to the bullpen, he's expecting the guy to come in and get outs. So far, not getting what he was hoping for. Ball, Next three. offering is downstairs. Three balls, one strike. Slider clips the corner. Just a really Good nice ball. slider Good down strike. and in there. He wants to get the hitter thinking fastball, speed him up, and just subtract some velocity and add a little movement. And the righty deals. Battling here as he fouls it away. Really great change of speeds. He goes off the off speed to the fastball, and the hitter doesn't know what's coming next. And ball oh, four oh, to oh. a board. Well, he earned his trip to first right there. It's not easy laying off pitches that the just miss the zone like that. And it's a real discipline as well. He's put a lot of work into that aspect of his game, and it paid off right there. Nice stop. Throws from the ground. There's one, and it's a double play. Perfectly timed dive right there to knock the ball down. He gets up and flips it to the second baseman to start. That 4 6 3 double play. Tell you what, that is the pitcher's best friend. And here's the catcher, Cal Raleigh. Got well, a good eye out. there. Two outs. Ball inside. After giving up that home run earlier, it just doesn't seem like he wants to challenge him. The pitch. And ball another three. ball. The pitch. And it's ball, ball four. four. He missed ball down three. low. 
Bell just came apart right there. Four pitch walk, and the guy at the plate was not going to help him out by swinging at something out of his own. Now it's the shortstop, Dylan Moore. Inside, just missed. He takes a strike. Two on, two outs. Whoa, the shortstop the takes the ball. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on. Probably a challenge pitch coming. This one lifted in the air, left field. Base hit and a run in to score. Well done, drives in the run. The that can be a really the tough pitch to handle. A front door breaking ball. Mm -hmm. He did a great job staying in there, keeping that front shoulder closed. He didn't spin off the ball and hook it foul, which happened so many times. Jake Bird takes over on the mound. And you know, bullpen guys can struggle sometimes when they're called upon with big leads because it just doesn't have the same intensity as a tight game. So we'll see how sharp he is. Your mental toughness matters in situations like this as well. And up next for Seattle, Luis Urias. And a foul ball. here and blast one left field a dive and he can't haul it in one run across here comes Moore he'll score two runs are in and it's 8-4 gets the job done as he brings home a pair nice line drive to the pull side right there but he didn't spin off of it that's the key you still have to extend through the baseball in order to hit a line drive like that and it's scored position with two away and now for Seattle, Jonathan Classe. That's a strike. Oh, one's the count. Next pitch is outside. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Cal Quantrill getting ready to come on for Bud Black. Close, but called a ball. And it's two and one. And the right hander deals. Pitch misses. And a full count now. Side and that is ball four. Oh, a great back and forth and that at bat. He had to lay off some really close pitches and somehow, bro, he found a way to keep the bat on his shoulder right there. I'll tell you right now, I couldn't have done it. Rodriguez stands in with two away as he takes a ball. The 1 0. Well struck right field. And it bangs off the out of town scoreboard. One run is in. Cut off. Now a throw home. In there safely. And it's now a two run game. Hey, they're right back in this thing after adding those two runs on the board. Textbook back control right there. Got a pitch on the outside, saw it deep into the zone, and just barreled it up, went the other way for the knock. So the Rockies.
Yankees turn the ball over to a new arm, Justin Lawrence. Pretty big spot he's coming into trying to strand that runner at second base. So he's going to need to make some quality pitches. He does have first open if he needs to use it. So a man aboard. And now the right fielder, Mitch Hanniger. He's already homered in this game. That misses the zone. And that is ball one. Rodriguez at second with two down. And there's a ball. As a pitcher, you know the runner on second is ready to push things with his speed. A base hit is probably going to be a big run, so you really have to execute on the mound. Tying run at the plate. And a foul ball. Makes the count two and one. At the belt and finals. That misses the zone. Three and one. Jorge Polanco on deck for the ends. Fouls one away and now three and two. The tying run at the plate. And a pop up right side, foul territory. He's got it. And that is out number three. So in the end, 10 come to the plate. Six of them come around to score. Home half of inning number eight straight ahead. It's the Rockies eight and the Mariners six. Back here in Denver, go, ready for the bottom go, of the eighth. On. So in now no for left Colorado, left. Sean Bouchard. The right-hander back to work. And the slider just misses. And that's down and away. He hasn't wanted to challenge him. Both of those pitches off the plate away. Don't expect anything down the heart of the plate. You may just have to be patient and take your walk here. Breaking ball inside. And now 3-0. Right through there for a strike. Here comes a pitch. That one catches the corner for a strike. Helpful. And he walked him. Second walk of the game for him, and he's been really patient at the play. The game plan that he's sticking to, he's just not going outside of what he's looking for up there. Michael Tolia digging in for the Rockies. Taken high in the draft. He's had that top prospect labeled over him since he put on a professional uniform. But at some point, that starts to go away, and you've got to produce at yep, the big league level. Pitch misses outside. 1-0. and oh. Nobody out. Runner at first. Popped up to the left. Into foul ground. Urias hauls it in, and there's one away. The batter, number 13, second baseman, Allen. Man at first, here's the second baseman, Allen Trejo. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. The next pitch misses, and it's a ball and a strike. Wouldn't chase that time. And a pitch. Runner on the goal. Swing and a miss. Throw to second. Ow! Man, I see him trying to be aggressive right there late in this ball game. Trying to add on to that lead. You know, I really like the thought, but it just didn't work out that time. Nice job by the defense right there to keep things right where they are in terms of the score. Two down, nobody on. Here, the bottom half of the eighth inning. 
And that's outside. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Now batting. Catcher. Jacob. Runner at first with two away. And Stallings. now it's going to be Jacob Stallings. 0 for 3 with two strikeouts and a ground out. Right through there for a strike. Swing and that ball smashed on a line. That's a hit. Lead runner touches second, headed for third. And now they'll have runners on the corners with two away. Now that's your stop. So the Rockies lineup turns over. And the batter now is Ezekiel Tovar. 0 for 3 with two ground outs and a strikeout. in for a strike and it's all in one foul ball there right into the play and that's outside, outside. That's the now one and two corners are occupied with two down Close with that one. Two and two. And makes the play, and that's out number three. Two left for Colorado. They lead at 8-6. And welcome back to the ballpark. Now it's the second baseman, Jorge Polanco. And he deals. And that one fouled off. Lawrence, in his second season, he features a sinker, a slur, and he works in a four-seamer. Oh. That misses the zone. One ball, one strike. That oh. one missed. Kicks and fires. Smoked on the ground a second. And they get the leadoff man of the ninth. Now And now the DH, Mitch Garver. In there at the knees for a strike. That one is absolutely belted. Back there. And that one finds the forest. It's out of here. A massive home run. His second home run of the series. It's 8-7. Just relentless. This team will not quit. sinker can be a pretty tough pitch because of the late life and movement but somehow he got the barrel to that pitch stayed through it really nice job of staying on the backside until it was time to transfer that weight and a really nice home run Ty France up next for the Mariners there's a strike Looking to get the tying run on base. And ball one. And a count one and two. You can see he was trying to stay back long enough to handle the off-speed pitch, but just a little tardy on the fastball. Righty delivers. Three. He goes down looking.
So last chance for the Mariners. Cal Raleigh up next for the Mariners. And strike one to the catcher. Well, so many hard-throwing relievers in the game these days, you would think that hitters have made the adjustment, but I don't know if you ever get used to it. Just pumping gas out of the bullpen. So hard to play catch up. Lawrence is just one strike Three. away. Got him, and that's the ball game. The ball for his first career save deserves to be on display at his house. I mean, it's kind of like when a restaurant frames its first dollar bill somewhere on a wall. You just can't forget your first save. And a final, 8-7. to seven. They hang on to win it by a run. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon.